now we're going to talk about close contact shooting. What this means is you got somebody that's bearing down on you. You turn around and somebody's bum rushing you and you don't have time to extend the gun. All right, because make no mistake, if you can back up and extend the gun, you're going to be able to be much more effective than you are with a one-handed technique. But this is something that you need to have in your bag of tricks. Basically, my ability to, to fire here from this point. Now, my buddy Ken Hackathorn taught me a technique many years ago, and it works like a champ. When you bring the pistol out, you got to line your head up with the pistol. So you line the head up with the target and up with the pistol. I'm like this. That's the key. So I have a couple options. I can bring the gun into the center of my body. I can lean out over the gun, or you can do what I like to do is split the difference. I bring the gun up, I lean out somewhat, and I bring the gun into my body, something like that. Now, you'll see a lot of people, they'll do this to deflect and push away the bad guy. That's cool, but if you do that, you got to tuck your arm back because trust me, it's not out of the realm of possibility you could shoot your hand. Right, so if you do this to push the bad guy away, you got to come up and engage with your hand out of there. All right. Now, very effective technique out to about five yards or so. Here's the good news. If you get five yards away from this guy, even if he's rushing you hard, you can come up with two hands and point shoot. As a matter of fact, if you can come to full extension, you're going to be more effective than you are with this technique. But this is something you need in your bag of tricks. The way I started is, right here about arm's length away, by all means you can come up, push it away, and then just like that. All right, then if that, that's good to go, which that one is, back up a step. All right, now at this point, I'm not gonna need to do this because the guy's far enough away, but if I see him closing in on me, he's got a knife or whatnot, I can come back just like that. Now notice, I got my head over the gun. I leaned out a little bit and brought the gun in closer to my body, just like that, and locked my elbow in. All right, now I'm gonna back up another step. All right, so I'm here, the guy's coming in on me, I can tell he's gonna rush me. Once again, if, at this point, if I can come up and get two hands or even one hand point shoot, you're gonna be more effective. But in this case, I'll come up and just like that. You need to practice this and once again, dry fire this before you do it live on the range. The key is to get the gun underneath your head or get the head over top of the gun. That's the key because that is going to help you windage wise and then all you're dealing with at that point is vertical alignment. All right, I hope you got something out of this. Practice it on the range and stay safe. We'll see you next time.